Good morning. Salicon Bay. We're in Salicon Bay. Can't believe it's a year since the last crab first. I've linked the video. It's a rubbish one actually. Don't watch it. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get some food. Let's have a bit of fun. <laughs> I filmed absolutely nothing of Crab Fest because, to be honest with you, it was boring. Um, actually, I watched last year's video before we went because Mike was like, what happened? Where were we in our life this time last year? So we watched last year's video um, and Mike had just had his knee operation. And um, anyway, it was boring. So I decided that I didn't want to repeat another boring video. So we went to Crab Fest, we had a, we shared, oh, that was wobbly. We shared like a salad wrap for lunch. It was supposed to be a chicken salad wrap, but there was like the bare, bare minimum of chicken in it, which is quite disappointing. Um, and now, if you watched last week's video, you'll know I did a painting on some tiles. I was looking for it over there. I did a painting on some tiles and I want to do the same tomorrow. I don't want it to bleed through again. We're gonna go painting on the beach tomorrow, I think. Um, and I'm just gonna prep four tiles to do daisy paintings on, and then tomorrow we'll do beach painting. I did four tiles prepped, all four slightly different colors, all nice and textury. And I did it on here because I've got loads of these sheets and it means hardly any washing up. Good afternoon. Is it afternoon now? Yes, it is. We're on the beach painting. It's today's. Oh, I love this colour palette. It's like a full vibe. We brought lunch to the beach and we're having ham. So this next painting here, Michael. Yeah. Didn't get a fork with his salad, so he's now using paint stick chopsticks. <laughs> Coming for a little house beach walk around the cove. Little like spore of downside bits we've never been before. Excuse the dirty windows. Look how beautiful the sunset is out there tonight. Oh, the sun's finally coming around. <laughs> We're sadly having to say goodbye to this avocado. The one that had. On, no, he had pot shock. And he's dead. Bye. We can use this cup for something else. Good morning. Happy Friday. Let's get my hair cut. I am going in with this mane of dry mess, but hopefully coming out with something a bit better. Let's go see what happens. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at it, oh, I literally adore it and actually it's healthy enough because I don't shampoo it, I only condition it and I think that's why it's healthy enough to only have had a tiny bit off the ends, very, very, very pleased. <laughs> Let's catch up because I think the last day that I filmed was probably Monday when we were at the beach. Um, I've had a crazy, I'm in love with this color. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's exactly what I wanted. I like how high up and around my face it goes because under here there's a lot of gray, but actually by doing this you can't tell and then when it grows out you can't really tell either. Oh, it's so blonde, I love it. So shiny. So, yes, I have had a crazy, crazy busy week just working, 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 working for both my jobs. And by now you know that the house is up for sale because I told you last week. 
um, that just adds like an extra layer of stuff to do, um, although it's super exciting. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell, cannot wait to tell you when we find out if we get to do the next thing that we want to do or not. I literally cannot wait. We are looking at a couple of things, but there's one thing that I really want to do and I will let you know if we manage that or not. We have had some great interest in the house already. It literally went on the market. I think when I, last week I said it was going on, on in a couple of days, but it took a bit longer because we weren't 100% happy with the brochure. I keep looking at myself because I, that blonde is just, um, we weren't 100% happy with the brochure. So we, it got pushed back a few days, but we've already, it went on, not yesterday, the day before, it's been on two days and we've had so many inquiries already and questions and, I mean, inquiries don't mean anything, but it's still super exciting to have people interested. It's a beautiful, beautiful location here and they get our stunning cabin and they get the main house and they get the cottage and the barn. And if we didn't, if we could afford to stay without doing the weddings anymore, we absolutely would. But I think we're keeping the top field we have a wild field just over here which we are we are keeping um so we still have like a little patch of land here we planted a thousand trees up there i'll put a link in one of the corners whichever one it is to the video where i show you around the field it's actually grown quite a lot since then but we're keeping that that's ours that's gonna stay as in my opinion for generations in our family because it's going to be a woodland it's going to be beautiful the main reason most of you are here is to hear about my weight loss journey and it is going well this week i don't know so last week i didn't really lose anything i kind of stayed stable but this week i'm already down four pounds and i have i'm 0 0.2 of a pound of hitting an overall weight goal of overall weight loss of three stone which is insane i bought some new leggings today and some new sunglasses i'm gonna show them to you mike doesn't love them but oh i do they're only category one because i like i don't stare at the sun directly but i like a little bit of coverage but still a lot of the natural light getting through because i think natural light's good for you i love them um and then i ordered i ordered some more leggings now the last time i got leggings they were two sizes bigger yeah two sizes bigger than the sizes that i've ordered now and i mean i wear them and i wear them and i wear them and i wear them and these ones have been going for like two years um so I didn't feel bad about ordering new ones. There were some holes in them now, like where the dogs have jumped up and stuff. So they needed replacing. But to get them two sizes smaller feels incredible. And when I, I, ordered, I got them out of the pack and I held them up and was like, they're never going to fit. And they did. They did. They fitted. I can't tell you how many centimetres I've lost since the start because I didn't do the measurement at the start. But this week alone, I've lost 22 centimetres off my body. Um, I'll try and do a total loss actually next week. I'll measure next week. I know, we'll save it till the end. We'll save it till the end for the highest. Mike's bringing an ironing board in. I'll save it till the end for the biggest, from the most centimetres to what I am at the end and we'll see what the difference is. This journey isn't stopping. I am not stopping once Malta comes because then we've got Ibiza, so I'm going to carry on going. I told you this information in the beginning, but I just want to go back through it. I'm using three apps for my weight loss tracking. One is Nokia Health slash Withings. I'm not sure what it's called now. It used to be called Withings, but I think it's changed to Nokia Health. That one is the one that I use for most of my weight tracking because I started it in 2015 and it's got a great graph 
and you can explore the data and it gives you loads of information. I get on the scales every morning. I get up, I get on the scales and then that's my day started. Most people don't get on the scales every day. And if you're not the kind of person that can deal with that every day, just don't. But for me, I need to see it daily. It's what keeps me motivated. It's what keeps the weight loss on my mind. So that's one app. The second app I use is um, Lose It. Lose It's the best one for calculating your calorie deficit, in my opinion, because it tells you, it takes all your details, it uses your BMR or your TD something or other. Anyway, and it updates as your weight loss goes down. That's the best one to find out how many calories I should be eating, but I don't like tracking on there because it doesn't have everything and I really want all the data. I want to be easily be able to scan something and know how many calories it is rather than manually updating it. I need fast, easy access to calorie information and Lose It doesn't always have that. Then that one also gives you little badges for every five pounds you lose. <laughs> so I love getting to a badge. At the moment, I've lost like a corgi, the equivalent weight of a corgi. And my next one is a fire hydrant, which I'm a couple of pounds off. So it does it every five pounds. I love that, that it does it every five pounds. Then the third app I use is my fitness pal. I have been logging my weight in my fitness pal through Withings and previous to Withings since 2012. So that has a lot, lot, lot of data and it has lots of comparison photos in there as well. So that's what I use that for mainly. Plus, that's how I track my daily calories. My fitness pal is by far the best app, in my opinion, to track your calories. So between the combination of the three of them, oh, wait, I'll use another one. I occasionally use an app called Progress. And I probably go in there once a week now. I have been using it for quite a long time. But at the moment, I'm doing it once a week to do my measurements. Because you can do as many measurements across your body as you want. And then it will tell you how many centimetres you're losing each time you, you do that. Um, and that's why I really like that. It, it also does like overlay comparison photos. But I don't. I much prefer my fitness path for doing that because it's just another place to track weight is not really necessary so between the four apps that's what's keeping me going um lose it calculates my calorie deficit and that's what i've been doing some days i try i use it as like an aim so some days i'm under it some days i can be very slightly over it but i use the free version there's a paid version that will split your calories so if you want to eat more on a weekend you can I don't do that because I just think that I'd rather know what I'm eating, getting into a routine. My my body then expects the level of food that I'm giving it rather than some days eating loads because then the next day after that will make me more hungry. So I'd rather just keep my calories equal every day. I'm not going to tell you the amount because I don't think that's necessary, but I would recommend just downloading it so it's free and getting the info that you need from it it will tell you how much you need to 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 be aiming for based on your activity level and your body and your age and your sex and all of those things um that's super useful all those things together combined um have helped me lose three stone in total this journey i don't know what i'm on actually since february but I'll do a big February reveal in the end. But three stone down from my heaviest, I think is incredible. I'm really, really pleased with that. What have you mentioned about our sponsors? Who are our sponsors? Have we not got any sponsors yet? Oh. So I thought we'd be sponsoring, I don't know, like Huel, something like Athletic Greens. No, we're sponsored by Mike Vincent Carpentry and Joining, which is actually closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you told them the news about what's going to be happening i've told them about the house yes you told about the plan no nope. not allowed yet well there's that's the plan that i want to happen but there's a couple of other plans in the motion isn't there sure. so but we can't tell them yet right it's exciting how much are you looking forward to malta uh 
Um, on a scale of one to ten, what? Uh, Malta or Ibiza? Like Malta right now. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to Malta. You're not in the screen, honey. I don't need to be. Um, how, how much am I looking forward to going to Malta? A lot. There's a lot of DJs that I want to see. Look how blue your eyes are. I know, uh, everyone says I've got beautiful blue eyes. They're still bluer than yours. No, I'm not sure they are, um, yeah, no, there's a lot of DJs I want to see. Um, just got to work out what days we're going to be where. There's so many, and they're all typically. There's are they all at one, different places? Literally one DJ at every different place I want to see. So I just got to wait up to see which one I want to see more. But you know, well, we're easy. going to all the evening because there's, there's eat, we'll go to each evening one, and then I'd like to go to the the castle one. It's just whether we do the pool party because I just don't feel 100% confident in myself yet. That's the only thing that I'm a bit... Whatever. About. Whatever, Trev. I'm just there for the music and the good vibes, man. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I need to do some ironing. You do that. I don't mind. I love that. these. Nice. <laughs> we will see you back here next week for another video please like and like and subscribe come find me on instagram i'll see you next week wait before you go i sat with my office and then noticed my box of two alice stuff and i wanted to tell you about it these are my incredible friends new business um joy business i this is not sponsored i have paid for these myself she has a collection of different things as you know i have a few different earrings going on this is one that i got it's like a dangly um crystal vibe like this they all are named after her friends which i love then this is the other one so i got um it's like a slightly longer dangly one now, the thing that I really love about them is that you can actually just take them off and use this as a hoop. So if you didn't want to have the dangle bit on all the time, you can actually do that. I, I they're, as far as I'm aware, they're waterproof. Um, and, you know, I like to just wear them all the time. So once they're in, they're in. But I think this is great, just like quick evening swap. And this is the kind of one that I would wear every day. I actually really want to put this don't know what it would look like and attach it to a back one so you've got like a little bridge the other one is this this is a bracelet and this is called the emma it's named after me and i think it's beautiful yeah i was really nervous about getting this because bracelets don't normally fit me um and you can see it literally just fits but my watch is normally on here hence this circle oops my watch has gone down from this hole all the way to this hole. It blows my mind. I'll leave a link to her stuff below. Um, she's got some really beautiful pieces, some necklaces. Um, there's new bits coming on. I love that they all come in like the little bags say to Alice on them. And the bracelet came in this box. It's like all feels like really beautiful gifts. Well done, Becca. Done a great job. The Emma is probably my favourite.